Well, I'm going to let it try to load. Let's watch this one more time and listen. We did our visual stuff, so we're going to listen now. The world I mean, Lucy will be watching and listening, but... At least, that's what everyone says. Basically, the only part about this trailer I don't like is that we still have no idea what the... Like, it would be a little easier to understand if they would just explain what this is. I hate that they are keeping it so ambiguous. I hate it in general, but if we knew what was happening, it might be a little easier to swallow. They're keeping it so ambiguous for for what? The sky. Every time I see it, it just pisses me off because we have no idea what they're doing with it. None. Zero. Welcome to the new world order. Fire! Just close your eyes and listen. Tell me you can't hear that. Her rallying cry. The planet runs out of energy. It and everything on it dies. We can overcome our fate. Am I the same? We can overcome our fate. They're talking about the planet dying. I wonder when do they have that combo in base? As these monsters, am I even human? Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh, Sephiroth. Oh, Sephiroth, you say? You know, I really thought when they showed this, they were going to keep it. I thought they were just going to tease us with the Moogle here, and then they actually showed it. I think it would have been so cool if they just teased us with the little furball and then waited for the next trailer to show off Kate Sith. That would have got me so hyped. I, this whole thing got me hyped, but just seeing him stand on this furball, I thought for sure this was all we were going to get. And then they showed gameplay, and it was like, oh, okay. So you heeded the call too, did you? What are you talking about? As you can see, your brothers down there are having a little get-together. This can't be the mid- Did you guys hear what he just said? Yeah. This cannot be the Medeal Doctor. Why would the Medeal Doctor know so much about this? If I had to wager anything, this is in Nibelheim. There's got to be some planted doctor in Nibelheim. Because, A, Nibelheim in base game, it, Nibelheim in Vanilla 7, has all of the black copies around town. So that would explain why there's black copies here. And B, based on what he just said, there is no reason the Medeal Doctor would know anything, anything about Cloud being Genova infected Sephiroth copy. There's just no chance. There's no way. This, I, I, if I had to take a guess, this is probably Nibelheim. And then Sephiroth comes out to do some delusional stuff as well. Together. You can see. Heated the call too, did you? You heated the call you too. He you say. So you heated the call too, did you? What are you talking about? As you can see, your brothers down there are having a little get together. There are best. Your brothers down there are having a little get together. Th this cannot. This is not the Medeal Doctor. I'm fully convinced that's not the Medeal Doctor. Now that we're listening together they're our best chance of finding Sephiroth yeah I ask because I suspect there's soldiers Sephiroth. well okay so now here's the other thing this guy's voice is not the voice we just heard did you what are you talking about as you can see your brothers down there are having a little get together is that Hojo what's Hojo's voice I wonder if that's Hojo. Maybe that's like the Costas del Sol conversation or something. Because that voice is not the same as this doctor's voice. They're our best chance of finding Sephiroth. Yeah, I ask because I suspect there's soldiers. Suff I still think this is Nibelheim, though, because I don't know why these guys would be at Medeal. But that voice was definitely not this guy's voice. Bring from cellular degradation. Do not be deceived. You know the truth. Trust in me. Sephiroth! Little snakey snake. I forget this dude's name, but the bottoms, bottom feeder boss. Who is there? Who does he have in his party? I see... There's five of us here. Are we all gonna fight this boss then? You take your main party three and the other two support from the outside? Come on. There's no Yuffie yet though, right? So no Yuffie by this point. Why are they pushing Yuffie back so far? 
Is the first time we meet Yuffie at the Golden Saucer? Come on. Cause here's Yuffie and Barrett down on the beach. On me. That literally is just a hyper beam. <laughs> Is that a Materia Keeper? Wait a second. It looks like the Materia Keeper enemy. Which is a boss in the Mount Nibelheim. So they're just, are they just taking him away from the main game and they're just going to put him as a flashback enemy? Or a flashback boss? Look at how strong Cloud is, by the way. I do not agree with this. Why is Cloud so strong compared to Sephiroth? I think they're really missing the mark here on this... I think they're really missing the mark here on this uh, flashback in terms of power levels and stuff. Yeah, that's right. Yuffie's here, so we don't meet her here. Cloud is so unimpressed back there. There's the Chocobo Square. The Battle Square is still here. Okay. There's the Speed Square. The Umbrella is back, boys. Assuming that this isn't just here as a sign, the Speed Square is back. We're getting the Umbrella again. I really hope they keep the Umbrella as a reward here. <laughs> Why is Yuffie in a kimono and nobody else? I know we're supposed to be listening, but they're not saying much in this part of the trailer. Uh, hopefully it's not unfair like the base game. Excuse me. Could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. <laughs> this guy is like completely new. I get <laughs> Tutelary creatures set only to appear when the planet is in grave danger. Who dares disturb my slumber? It's upon us. The reunion. When worlds merge. When worlds merge. Cloud. Man, the overall story is still so confusing. They did say it won't make sense till all three parts are out, but I just don't know why they went this route. I'm still excited. Like I said, most of this trailer I actually was actually really excited for. I don't like that this doesn't seem to be in Shinra Mansion. The Zack stuff still is making zero sense. And again, like I said, it'd probably be a little easier to swallow if we knew what it even was. But... Lumber. I'm glad he still backflips dramatically. That's true. The whole trailer sucks. Lucy, you're just being cynical. You cannot say the whole trailer sucks. I think you're just being cynical because a lot of it is following base. Like, I don't know why you wouldn't like the stuff that all seems to follow base. Because most of it seems to. It's just this side story plot that we have no idea. Man, I really... If I miss out on this, I'll cry. I won't cry, but it'll really suck. Yeah, their website is still crashing. Everybody's trying to get in on it. Well, I'm glad we watched it. That was cool. That and the Tales of Arise stuff are both really sick. I'm really excited for both of those. The Tales of Arise in less than two months is so exciting. We'll definitely be doing that day one. That gives us a little winterish game to look forward to now. But uh, if anyone was watching this on YouTube, I'm going to highlight these for YouTube. So if any of you are watching these on YouTube, then thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, the collector's edition is up for pre-order. This Twitter link worked. Hold on. And uh, yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, I'll end it here while I pre-order this. I'm not done streaming. Uh, we're going to switch straight to 350 bucks. I'm going to be broke. Please select an option. I did. Is it already sold out? 
Might already be sold out. That's asking me to select an option. But, oh, PS5. Wait. But, uh, yeah, we're not done streaming. I'm going to pre-order this, and then we'll switch over to Sea of Stars.